Our story begins today about a little pig that lived in uh, southern Kentucky on a farm. And uh, his name was Ham. And Ham was, I uh, uh, felt like he was the luckiest pig that ever lived. He had a nice little uh, uh, mud hole to slop around in. And lately he had been getting all kinds of food. <clears throat> I mean, plenty of grain and food and he's like wow he says i've died and went to heaven hog heaven he says and he's slopping around out there and he had a friend named thelma thelma was a, a chicken and thelma would come by because ham would knock some of his grain out of the fence and thelma liked to go down there and talk to ham and eat, eat a little grain have lunch with him so one day, uh, Thelma was up at the house because Thelma just ran around free and Ham was in a, a little fence thing. But anyway, she was up by the house and she heard the farmer telling his wife, I'm out of be gone. I've got to get some be gone. And uh, Thelma, her little heart just dropped. She like freaked out. Oh no, he's out of bacon. And so he, so Thelma took off down to the pig pen, which was out in the field, and ran out there. And, and uh, Ham could see, see her, and she was coming across the field with her napkin, just a boo hoo and cluck, 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 <laughs> cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> So uh, Thelma came right towards him, got up to the fence, and uh, Ham, he was laying there sunbathing in the mud. And he took his sunshades off. He said, Thelma, what in the world is wrong, girl? And she goes, oh, I don't want to tell you this. I hate to tell you. It's not good. He said, what's the problem? He said, I heard the farmer and his wife talking this morning. And they're out of bacon. Oh, Lord. Well, Ham started thinking, my goodness, I've been being fed extra groceries lately and everything. He said, my goodness. He said, I thought it's because they loved me and thought I was attractive and everything. And handsomest pig in the yard. I'm the only pig in the yard now. We, they sold the other ones. So, man, they're fatting me up to get some bacon. He said, oh, no, I got to do something about this. Well, he has the horse. The horse is always walking around his pen there. And the horse is always just uh, <clears throat> salivating because he's seen all that extra grain that Ham was getting. And he just thought, man, I'd like to be Ham. I'd like to be a pig. What am I doing being a horse? They feed me a certain amount, which I get plenty. But goodness gracious, Ham is living in hog heaven. And Ham said to the horse, his name was Rocket. He said, Rocket, he said, you got to help me out here, man. He said, the farmer's out of bacon and uh, not looking good for my future here. So I got to get, I got to get out of here. And he said, well, where are you going? He said, well, I think about going to Miami. I hear there's a lot of pigs out there. Oh, okay. He said, well, I need you to do me a favor. Can you push this fence over here and where I can get out of here? So Rocket backed up to the fence pole and knocked it over. And, and Ham, he could get over that fence then. He said, Sam, I love you. Rocket, have a good day. I got to, I'll see you guys another time. So he took off walking. He was headed for Miami beach because he had heard there was plenty of porkers out there so he was walking along and he went across uh oh about a half a mile he saw a little you know one of them little swimming pools in the backyard full of water he thought man that's a long walk i'm gonna have to cool off a little bit i see a little bit of water over there i'm gonna go get in that and so he went over and got in that little pool and he was laying there and uh Meanwhile, uh, so he got splashing around having a good time. Well, meanwhile, the farmer had come down there to the pig pen and to make sure to do his chores and everything. He said, and he got looking around. He seen the fence was knocked down. He said, where in the world is Ham? And he said, well, he he took off. He heard you was out of bacon. And it, 
he kind of thought he might be, uh, you know, on the platter here pretty soon. So he left. He said, I didn't, I'm not out of bacon. He said, I'm out of, I didn't see anything about bacon. And, and he said, who said that? And he said, Thomas said, you was out of bacon. He said, no, I wasn't out of bacon. I was telling my wife I'm out of bug be gone. I'm out of bug be gone. Bug be gone. Oh, man. So, wow, I've got to find him. I bet he's scared to death. So he got on his John Deere tractor, and he headed out, and he went down the road, and he thought, where in the world would Ham go? And he, just looking as he went, he noticed over that little pull, and he noticed that something moving around in there, and uh, then Ham heard that tractor coming, blah, 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 blah. So Ham laid on his back in the pool. Like, oh, he, he'll never see me here. He'll go on by. But the farmer could see Ham's belly sticking out of the pool. So anyway, uh, the farmer went up there and he heard that tractor, blah, 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 go right up by the swimming pool. Well, the farmer guy said, Ham, what are you doing? He said, Ham said, I'm going to Miami. He said, Miami Beach. He said, Miami Beach? He said, I don't need no bacon. I told my wife this morning I need some bug be gone spray. I don't, I was... But Ham said, well, you was fattening me up, and I felt like maybe I was the bacon you was needing. He goes, no, you not the bacon I need. I was fattening you up to take you to the fair next month and show you off and show you what a pretty pig you are. Oh, and then Ham said, oh, I'm sorry I listened to, I just got it all wrong, didn't I? And he got out of the pool and hugged the farmer said come on let's go on home so they went back home and the moral of the story is careful how you hear things sometimes what you hear ain't the facts and you might not see the real picture you, you just hear what you hear and you respond to it so today uh we're all like that we hear a lot of things and we need we need to make sure we respond to the right things thank you for listening